Now that I've got 784 references, one of the things you want to do at this point, what, if this is every database that you're going to search and all of your search terms, you want to have one big master library, make a copy of it, make a backup and stick it someplace because the next series of steps that we go through will thin down this whole group of articles to something that's going to be much more manageable to explore by hand. So one of the things that I wanted to do is pop back over into my Microsoft Word document. And this is my search strategy notes. And so this was in the previous video. I have my search terms. I have my results from each database. And I just inserted a little column here I'm calling thinning the herd uh, because I want to keep my uh, numbers organized over here. So right now I've got 784 articles. My next step is to use EndNote to eliminate the duplicates and then to eliminate articles that are not in the English language. So it doesn't really matter what order you do these in. I'm going to actually switch this just for myself to say first let me get rid of articles that are not in English. So with all of my references I can come over and I want to use title and I want to use starts with field begins with a bracket. So let's just see what happens here if I search my entire library. Search and six articles came up. So notice that my groups over here still have the same number of references in them, but this will change when I delete these articles. So this is actually a duplicate. So if I select all of these and right click and move references to trash, the question is where do they come from? So now I've got my 778 articles and if I wanted to come over here and compare this list to what I have in my search table I can figure out which um, which of these uh, databases had articles that were not in the English language so for now I'm not going to be that picky except to say in my search I've got now 778 so not in English language um, there were I've got 778 left so I had um, Oh gosh, it was uh, six of them, six articles that were not in English language. There were six citations, I should say, because one was a duplicate. Next, I come back over into EndNote. I go to All References, and this time I'm going to just skip all of this. And that's fine. I'm not really going to be searching here. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now I want to eliminate duplicates. So coming over here, finding duplicates. We've done this before in a previous video, so I won't walk you through all of this. But what we want to look at here is we have 596 duplicate references. So I'm going to hit pause and I will get rid of the duplicates and then we'll be back to see what we have left. Now that I've gone through eliminating duplicates, a couple of important things to note. One is that my search terms are distinctly similar. So there were some articles that were in here four times. They showed up in four searches. That is based upon words in the title, words in the abstract, and keywords that were um, help used to index the articles. But something to keep in mind is when you're doing a systematic search like this, there are some databases that have distinct duplication. Uh, CINAHL and Medline are two of those. But this also should be a good forewarning. Don't ever search PubMed and Medline in the same systematic search. PubMed contains all of Medline and more resources. It's all based on the National Library of Medicine, so if you search both of them, everything would be duplicated and you'd be throwing out half of what you found. So now we've got 406 references. I have the ability here to search within my references to try to eliminate articles that don't meet my inclusion criteria. So let me size my window up here, here real quick. There are a couple things um, that, that uh, pop up right away. And one is, I want to scroll down, there was one article here that was in a foreign language that did not show up in my previous search for the bracket. So I will go ahead and move this reference to trash. but. I want to go back over to my search criteria here and say not in English language, there were seven. This left me with 777 references and out of my 777 then I had 372 duplicates but this actually would be 371 because the reference would have disappeared. So we want to make sure we still ended up with, we actually now have four or five. So I think this actually, let's see how that works. We'll have to double check the math, but let's say if that was 372. Um, we can go back in here in when you're putting together your Prisma diagram and just double check the math. 
the most important thing is what we ended up with. Um, actually, if we got rid of the, um, now that I think about it, if that was in here multiple times, that would affect what we end up with. So now we come back on over here and we have 405. I can start to create subgroups within here to find things like study protocols that I'm not going to use. I also want to scroll up and point out that there are several references that were abstracts of papers, um, things of that nature that we can add, put in different um, a different folder to sort of decline that article, but we want to make sure that we explain why we're getting rid of articles. So something like this, W504 to be confirmed, all of these should be manually scanned and if the reference does not have anything to do with health coaching and hypertension or high blood pressure, we can put those in a group of articles to discard. So I can come on over here for my groups and I can right click and I can create a group and call that discard and then in my discarded references, I want to come on over here and identify what's getting discarded. So I'm going to discard articles that are not peer reviewed research. We can include poster presentations. Um, and we'll leave that for the moment and come back on over whoops to end up here and say here's abstracts of posters so I'm gonna go ahead and move that into the discard group um, I can scroll down and say this is heaven only knows what this is we can get rid of that not peer-reviewed research this was a CME test um, so also not peer-reviewed research this is the actual test itself um, this is a maybe. We'll have to look at this one. Effects of a community study. We'll have to look at that one. It's possible that these publications are secondary reports. Um, Nurse-led clinics, also curious. Um, let's see. Committee opinion number one, challenges, improving healthcare delivery, practice level cost. So right now we've just discarded some things that were obviously not peer-reviewed research and um, some other what appeared to be a poster. So I've got three discards there. I can come on over here, um, get rid of those three. So my 405 eventually is going to come down here to 405 minus 3 is 402. So next up, we can start to look and search within our, um, uh, within our titles for words that we like and words that we don't like. So I'm going to come on over here and, and by the way, when we get to articles that we're going to discard, we will be able to eventually delete these and this will bring down our pool of all references. But I want my title to contain the word protocol. Okay, so protocol. Now I have 38 references that contain the word protocol. So if all of these are research protocols, we will be able to delete these. So I can come over here, I can make a group, right click, create a group, study protocols, protocols. So scanning through these, uh, again, abstracts of papers, whoops, sorry, study protocols. Here we go back on my search results here. Effects of peer coaching. So these, I will scan through the titles by hand. Um, and as I go through, it's just another easy way to narrow down this field. Our goal is to get to approximately 300-ish articles that we would need to scan further and search for full text. So for the moment, I can put all of these guys in the study protocol section. And I will discard those because, again, they might be good references. It looks like one of those is still a duplicate that didn't get caught, interestingly enough. So let me right-click, move reference to trash. Now I've got study protocols. That's 37. And I have how many articles? 404. So again, come back on over here. I've got 404. And got rid of 3. 404. One, study protocols. And that's 37. And 37. If I get rid of those. So at this point, if I'm going to discard all of them, and let's just pretend that I've already looked through them, I can right-click and I can delete the group. 
Let's see if I can delete the group and delete the references. I better just delete the references in the group first. So I come on over here, grab everybody, right click, move these references to the trash. I'm going to move these references also to the trash. I'm throwing up the trash yet. Move to trash. Now I have 364 references. So again, I'm looking for interventions that use health coaching on patients who, um, who have hypertension and who have high blood pressure. And at this point, I have 364 references. Um, I will have to manually screen a couple of these here up here at the top. I also will want to look at, and now again, I'm seeing an awful lot of duplicates, which doesn't really make sense. So I will have to go back and fix that. So let me just pull up my references and all references and see if I can find duplicates. It's not finding them. So I'm going to have to manually go through. Um, it might be just not catching something about the way the article is indexed. So a manual scan of 300 references probably will take you about 20 minutes to go through deleting um, what is duplicated so that ultimately we would then go back in and we can go ahead and do this now if the word, if the title of the article contains the word review. Let's search and see how many of these are reviews. So I've got 13 reviews which will be really useful for me as background information but none of these articles are going to actually meet my inclusion criteria and this one by the way can get deleted because it's also a duplicate so that's another duplicate I want to click over here and I've had another duplicate 373 all right and so we got to come back again and do make sure we double check our math um, so let me just highlight this so that I can come up here and make sure that I work my way back. So once I've um, scanned the review articles, I don't need to necessarily go out and search for them. I already found review articles in my general background information search, so I don't need to keep them. Um, but as we go through, discard, I can say these were discarded because they were reviews. Um, so I can make them into a group or I can move them into the discard pile themselves. So you'll see that we just continue to use this, um, this system to narrow down the references that we have. So if I discard over here, I'm discarding 12 references it looks like. Once I move those to the trash, um, let's see, discard, move to trash, no I guess I have to move them to trash over here. Um, I've gotten rid of this bunch. There we go, move to trash. Now I have 351. So if I come back up to all of my references, there's one additional criteria that you might want to think about, and that's the year for your review. I can sort everything by year, and I've got something. Do corpus wellness programs really work? This really doesn't look like it's peer reviewed at all, so that probably can get dumped into that group. But I've got one article as far back as 1995, and everything else from my topic is pretty current. So double check um, the journal, double check your professional association and your colleagues to see if you have to put any age on the studies that you found. Um, usually that criteria is simply since the last review. But right now I've got 351 references, so I can manually scan and discard. I can continue to discard duplicates as I find them, but just make sure that the duplicates get pulled in over here so we know how many duplicates we had in the database. So ultimately we have, we started out with 784 references. We want to make sure that we're documenting what we're getting rid of so that when we end up at our final number, and the reason that we are getting rid of articles, so let's just say review articles, that's another group we'll get rid of, overviews, and then we'll be able to come down to a final number that we can manually scan.